Keith Duffy and Brian McFadden are here <laughs> now, boys' life. They're, they've taken <laughs> their jackets <laughs> off <laughs> because <laughs> their jackets were blending into the sofa. Yeah, so we, they're, they're, they're now fixing. Yeah, nah, yeah, that's yes. better. I can see now. It's not like so. Never looks like we're on Jeremy Kyle. That's in a minute. I'm never talking to you again, Brian. I should be standing on the side like waiting to come in. Like you two, you two are just having too much fun. We always have fun. You know we always have fun. I know, I know. So it's boys' life, not West Boys. No, no West Zone. West Boys. We were going to call ourselves West Zone, but then we found out it was a car park outside Dublin Airport. Oh, we don't want that. So we said boys' life sounds better. Boys' life does sound better. But it's not just the songs though, because you talk to the audience, don't you? You tell stories. It's all about that. It's an autobiographical show, basically talking about our twenty odd years in the business, and and then a song would relate to a story, and then we do that song. So between the two of us, we've over twenty one number ones. So it's a great night out, Lorraine. It's a it's a it's a good night out. I have to say, Lorraine, you're looking great. Oh, behave. You really are. Behave yourself. It's younger you're getting. No, it's not. Do you remember I used to work with you fifteen years ago? I do. I used to do the OBs. I do. When they used to enjoy a drink, you remember them? Yes, I do. We never ever knew whether you were going to turn up. Before you were Mormon, you were great back then, weren't you? Yeah, no, thank God. <laughs> so it clearly works, the two of you. It works beautifully. We have a great time. I we're bet very, you we're do. very lucky. You know, obviously we, in our younger, in our, in our, in our youth, should I say, you know, we, we got to perform in some of the best places in the world with yeah. some with some amazing performers and, you know, the big arenas and the stadiums and stuff. But now we're, we're, we play the Hilton hotels across the country, so it's right. a very intimate vibe. It goes. But it would have to be, wouldn't it? If you're telling yeah. stories and and also the audience are really involved, it, it needs to be that. They're intimate. probably they're we more found, involved than they should be. Yeah, we found out on the tour <laughs> that some of the bigger places when they have a few drinks that, you know, they forget that. You know, they're, they're like the old days where they're screaming at you, and it was actually a bit like Gogglebox live. Right. You know, like Keith to be, I remember there's one that Keith was in the middle of telling a story, and the girl is shouting at him about the story. We <laughs> just had to stop and go. She, she's sitting there in front of me. I'm going, I can hear you. I'm, I'm not I deaf. I couldn't hear you speak, and I can only hear her. What? <laughs> you know, I don't like to pay myself. Uh, <laughs> and do you think, will it, I mean, it's the two of you, could it ever expand and have other boys? Absolutely. In it? We could have kids and bring them into it as well. <laughs> do you know who the mother is? <laughs> 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 That's another show. Um, so, no, but you could, you, the other boys could come if they wanted to. I don't to. think it would work for the show. No, because maybe in a, different, in a different context it would work, right. uh, maybe other people being involved, but not the show we do. Because the show we do is is basically just about me and Keith's life. And I can't imagine having three, yeah, four people talking. Yeah, that would, it would be a, a press bit It'd be a different then. kind of show then, wouldn't it? Yeah, you know, we'd I mean, if, if more boys got involved, we'd be better off going back to the arenas and then singing all the songs. Yeah. Yeah. Is that good? Because that would be good. That could, very, that could happen one day. That should happen. That could happen one day. I just see but what We've, we've done the whole of the UK, Scotland, Wales, England, but we're actually going home with this show. Right. We're going to uh, we're going to Limerick, oh, and we're going to Cork, love, and we're going to Drogheda. Drogheda, Drogheda. Oh. Yeah, or so the Americans call it Drogheda. 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 We're going, we're going, we're going home to Ireland for, with this yes. show. Yeah, so oh, that's that's, that's really exciting good. as well. We, when we sit down and figure out where we're going to play, it's all down to the golf courses. Right. <laughs> so yeah. in places have great golf courses. We do shows there. You are seriously addicted to golf. Well, our <laughs> golf, our golf game has got a lot better since we yeah. went on tour. Our singing has suffered a little bit, but our golf game. Well, no, 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 hang on. My singing was never great in the start. <laughs> but do you not get fed up with it and cross with it? Because it's one with of golf. those. Sports. Yeah, because you can go out and you. You do exactly the same thing, and it's exactly the same course, and you've got exactly the same clubs, and you're rubbish. Yeah, and then but the it's next always a different ball. Right, is that not what you've been doing for the last 25 years? <laughs> <laughs> That's very true. I mean, how do you get up this you're early in the morning man. every day? Th that's true, yeah. How do you, like, where's your social life gone? Do you have <laughs> oh, one? I d Cinderella, as you know. I'm always Cinderella. I've always got to leave right, early. You, to go to the ball. To, you need to get yourself a little set of golf clubs, and right. when you finish yapping here in the morning, <laughs> out onto that golf course, I tell you, it'll change your life forever. Really? Is it good exercise? Yeah, of course it is. You're walking about four or five miles, do, do you? Do you not get a buggy? No, no, no you won't. And oh, if you're really bad, you walk a lot more, because you have to kind of find your ball. That's yeah. true. That's the worse you are, true. the more exercise you get. That's very true, but you're you're good now, though. Uh, clearly. <laughs> the well. exercise is not working for him. We're going to stick where you are in in the website, you know, where people can come and people can see you. But it's such mm. a brilliant idea. It really well, is. We're enjoying it, and thankfully, you know, and it gives the fans the opportunity to get up close and personal with us, and yeah. it's it's good fun, isn't it? Is it? We know we have so much fun doing it. I think it's it's different than a concert. I think you know sometimes because you do the same thing every night when you're doing yeah. a, a proper concert tour, you know, it can get a bit repetitive, as you sure. say. But for this, you know. Every Every night's different, isn't it? We've never yeah. done the same show twice, you know. The, the, the we, show, we, we'll the, be in the middle of telling the story and then something will come to us and okay. go, actually, you know, that reminds the me show, of this. The show was supposed to be an hour in the first half and 45 minutes in the second half. And it's longer. And the first night we were on stage for four hours. Guys, <laughs> good luck with it. Good luck with it. And Thanks, it's Lorraine. great Thanks to see you. Thank you, you so, so much.